got my own problems Money ain't gon' solve em. White lows off designer Loyalty, no option Please don't start no drama We the ones get shit poppin' Yo, what's up? I uh, hope you like the new intro. I figured it was just time to switch it up, you know, why not? Um, as for this week, you know, 3-3 three and three last week, not bad. Um, not what you want either, though, because we're kind of starting to hit a speed bump, you know? I kept getting 4-2, four 4-2, and, two, four and, two, and then instead of, um, you know, really really picking up speed, go 5-1, and 6-0, and oh, I had 3-3, three three, two weeks in a row, so not, not what you want to see. Um, yeah, no Jeremiah this week, so I'm going to be back doing my graphics uh, just for this week. Uh, just hitting on the games really quick. I really liked Pitt uh, home against Clemson, minus three. They ended up beating them without much um, problem. I liked NC State on the road, uh, minus three as well. They lost outright, though, to Miami. Um, unfortunate. I really thought that was going to be a lock. Uh, like I said, wasn't confident about West Virginia. They ended up winning outright as well. Um, Falcons-Dolphins. I'm trying to remember this game. I, Falcons... We're a half point away from covering. I think they won this game by two, so um, that was a that was a bad break for me. Um, don't remember watching that game. Uh, Chiefs at Titans. I I mean I like I love the Titans plus five and a half. I, I even bet the money line. Um, I think I told people to bet the money line, but um, you know I did bet the money line and I made uh, some money off of that. Um, just just the game. See, I'm gonna talk about this game real quick. My whole thing was. They're gonna be the Titans are gonna be on the field offensively the whole time. It's not gonna matter how fast you know um, the Chiefs score. You know it'll be um, the, it'll just be a game of uh, what do you like attrition, I guess. And um, and the Chiefs offense never did anything. So this this is why this game ended up being like a blowout. I think the, um, the Titans probably covered the five and a half. They ended up blowing them out actually. Yeah. Um, Whatever, yeah, that was an easy one. Uh, and then Saints at Seahawks. This, is, this is terrible Monday night game. Nobody really did anything besides Alvin Kamara. And the Saints won by, like, two, I think. I think it was, like, 14-12 or something like that was the final score. Um, didn't cover the four and a half. Very upset about that. And it, it is going to be a little bit before I bet the Saints again. Uh, moving on to this week. Uh, you know, you know, switching it up with the, the new intro. I wanted to, you know, uh, start doing something else. I'm doing throwback logos this week, you know, whatever. Um... Kansas State logo looks kind of weird. I don't, it's giving me like racist vibes. I don't really know why, but it just kind of looks like a, a weird character caricature. Um, whatever. Um, Kansas State minus three. Uh, TCU has been having um, problems covering all year. I think they've covered once. Um, I like Kansas State a lot. I like uh, Deuce Vaughn and just I just last time I bet uh, TCU you know I ended up going right so I like Kansas State this week minus three um, at home moving on I like uh, SMU plus one at uh, Houston I believe they're gonna win outright you know plus one doesn't do a whole lot in um in college football you know where you can't end up at a tie it literally just if they lose by one then it's a push I guess um so I do like SMU outright but just just for the sake of tradition I'm, I don't do money lines here I just do uh whatever points they're giving. So I like them plus one. Um, believe they're five and two against the spread SMU is. Um, you know, Tanner Mordecai has been having a hell of a season. You know, I understand Houston's uh, pretty good and they're both up there in the American Athletic, but um, something about SMU, they just have that quarterback, uh, Tanner Morgan. And so I like them uh, outright and I like them plus the points, obviously. Uh, moving on, I like Kentucky minus one and a half a lot. I, I am in love with this pick. Like, I've already put probably around forty dollars on this pick, which you know I know it's not a lot, but um, me like living the way I am, like I do not have a lot of money at the moment, you know, uh, not a lot of disposable income at the moment. So, you know, for me to put forty dollars on it uh, tells you uh, how how confident I am. Why I don't understand why this is only one and a half. Um, I didn't write down what Mississippi State is against the spread. I I, I believe they're like three and three. Um, Kentucky's covered every week except once. They're six and one against the spread. Um. And they're going to, like, one and a half, I think they're going to blow Mississippi State out of the water. I haven't seen anything from Mississippi State this season. Um, well, I've seen a lot from Kentucky. You know, I had them fucking ranked uh, seventh, I think, after they lost. Um, so one and a half, like, that's that's free money. It's, Kentucky minus one and a half is free money this week. Uh, I don't understand why that is as low. Moving on to NFL. I, um, this is another game I like a whole lot. I understand uh, the Packers are dealing with a lot of uh, – injury issues at the moment i think Devonte adams is questionable dude plus six and a half like yeah i know i know i know the cardinals are um i have it written down they're both six and one against the spread i understand um but something's got to give um you know the the packers have covered every week except the one you know the the kind of tune-up game against the saints at the beginning of the year so um 
I don't think Packer. Um, I do not see Aaron Rodgers losing by more than six and a half to Kyler Murray on the road. Do I think the Packers going to win outright? Um, yeah, but I want to put money on it. You know, I'm kind of either way. I, I I do think the Cardinals would win outright, but um, I'm not confident in the Packers money line. But plus six and a half, like it's just like this is this is way too much. Like in an NFL game against a team as good as the Packers, you know, I don't understand where they're getting this six six and a half number from. Uh, moving on. I like uh, the Browns minus three and a half. This one I'm not as confident in. You know, just another Browns are another team dealing with you know just a plethora of um injury issues this year, and I'm not really. Um, this is more of me just not liking the Steelers, dude. They don't have a quarterback. They have no line. They haven't been able to throw it, and their defense hasn't. Um, they kind of kind of have um underperformed to this point. Not as good as you would have hoped. So um, minus three and a half. I, th- I believe Nick Chubb's back this week. So I mean three and a half. The Browns, in theory, should be winning by uh, a lot more. But you know, with all the injuries, that's why this uh, number is as low as it is. So three and a half. I'm not worried about. Uh, final game. I love this one a lot. This is another one I put a, a lot of actual money on. Um, yeah, there's no old Vikings logo. They've had the same logo forever. So that's why that's there. Um, Cowboys minus two and a half, dude. This is another free money game. I somebody has to be injured that I don't know about, but as far as I know, everybody's playing um, of note. So, you know, the, yeah, the Vikings are a good team. I, I think the Cow, Cowboys are another team that's six and one against the spread or five and one against the spread. They cover every week, so um, they're gonna. I I bet the Cowboys the other week, and you know it worked out. So I don't know. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of Vikings games to be honest, but still like. Just looking at uh, their individual records against the spread is kind of enough for to, you know, convince me. You know, I do like the Cowboys this week, but um, that's not it at all. I do like the Cowboys as an actual football team, not betting wise, and um, I expect them to cover. That's about it.